options. Options are of two types, calls and puts. Calls give the buyer the right, but not the obligation, to buy a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given future date. Puts give the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell a given quantity of the underlying asset at a given price on or before a given date. Therefore, options are contracts that give the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an asset. Investors typically will use option contracts when they do not want to risk taking a position in the asset outright but they want to increase their exposure in case of a large movement in the price of the underlying asset. For example, Pineapple Technologies produces tablets, MP3 players, and cell phones, built with Autel company processors. There has been an extreme growth in the technological industry, but the market is not growing at the same rate, which is why prices of technological components have been fluctuating. As a result, and in order to hedge the risk of the fluctuating production, Autel Company agrees with Pineapple Technologies to sign an options contract. In this agreement, they state that if the market fluctuates too much, Pineapple Technologies will have the option or right to acquire the processors from the Autel Company at a convenient price for both companies stated in the contract. This reduces the risk of Autel Company to stop the production of processors and ensures Pineapple Technologies that there will be processors available for their devices. Swaps Swaps are private agreements between two parties to exchange cash flows or other variables associated with different investments in the future, according to a prearranged formula. Many times, a swap will occur because one party has a competitive advantage in one area, such as borrowing funds under variable interest rates, while another party can borrow more freely at a fixed rate. The three most commonly used swaps are interest rate swaps, currency swaps, and commodity swaps. For example, Bank El Gringo receives all the remittance from the United States in dollars, and they pay Guatemalans in Quetzales. On the other hand, Bank La Radita sells dollars to Guatemalan importers who pay in Quetzales. Both agree upon a swap to make profit out of their individual exchange rates. Bank El Gringo offers a more attractive exchange rate than the market to Bank La Radita. Therefore, Bank La Radita can offer a more attractive exchange rate to the Guatemalan importers than the market does. In consequence, importers prefer to buy dollars from Bank La Radita instead of the regular market, so this bank is able to purchase more dollars from Bank El Gringo at a better rate due to the swap agreement. Finally, Bank El Gringo has more quetzales from the transaction, making profit out of it as well. In conclusion, you have to remember that the key to making a sound investment is to fully understand the risk, counterparty, underlying asset, price, and expiration date, associated with the derivative. The use of a derivative only makes sense if the investor is fully aware of their risks and understands the impact of the investment within a portfolio strategy. And that's what you need to know to understand the basics of a derivative. Created using Powtoon.